So, so I'm back to this crazy channel. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مادة يا سلطان الأول يا مادة يا سلطان الأنبياء مادة يا محمد مصطفى مادة يا علي مادة يا شاه مردان مادة 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 يا فاطمة مادة يا ذو الفقار today welcome today we talk about the ذو الفقار yes everyone knows the tremendous and legendary um, sword of Ali, yes, Imam Ali alayhi salam. So, and how to use it in meditation. And also a little bit about um, talismanic swords or knives <laughs> yes first of all today a little um, book how do you say recommendation because many people always ask me yeah, do you recommend books on Sufism maybe this is not a beginner's book but it's very interesting and very sober Martin up to Martin Gansinger a good brother of mine he wrote this book intuitive instructional speech in sufism and the design alhamdulillah by this one talking here <laughs> is the sheikh nazim with ayatul kursi so yeah very good book very sober very um has a good insight into sufism basically yes so back to the Dul Fiqar. Yes. So I don't make so many videos on visualization and things like this, but maybe if you're interested, please comment below. Like, comment, follow, whatever you like, share <laughs> um, this channel. Yes, make donation, whatever. Um, if you like to hear more about visualizations, just make a comment in the box. So, you don't need anything for this. You just sit down, calm your mind and make a meditation. And in the meditation you can visualize the Zulfiqar and also Imam Ali himself. Yes, because Imam Ali, he is still living and there is a story that Imam Ali once he was killed they put him in a tent and he was lying and was dead and then his last will was like this put me on the on my horse and send him out yes the horse like in the desert okay so they did it they put him on the horse, they tied him on the horse, dead, and sent the horse out, yes. And, yes, Hasbunallah, one year more kill. So one man came from the, after like one or two hours, one man came from the desert on a camel or a horse, and he was, he said like, he came into the tent, this was, why are you guys so sad? Said, oh, yes, Imam Ali, he died, he was killed, yes. We are, that's why we are sad. And she was, his mentor, how come? So I just saw him riding the horse <laughs> up to the mountains. Yeah, so it's said that uh, he's still fighting up there in the heavens and preventing alien attacks and things like this <laughs> Jin attacks whatever what not what whatever not <laughs> welcome yeah so you can with medit you can invoke the Dulfiqar and 
and the presence of Ali because as we know also I think it's Hadith or Quran the Shahid the martyrs they don't die right so but this is for <laughs> other topic yes we are not talking about this we are talking how to use this and also you can use the hand of Fatima yes the wife of Ali yes the feminine principle for protection yes I have another video on hand of Fatima but you can visualize hand of Fatima in front of you and you can see who is coming who is attacking and this is big a stronghold yes and yes also the Dulfiqar is also protecting but also for fighting back yes so there is this verse this phrase it's not a verse la fata ila ali la saifu ila dulfiqar so there is no victorious one except ali <laughs> and there is no sword except the dulfiqar yes Yes, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This is a deri derivates of the Shahada, basically. Yes, there's Masha'Allah la quwata illa billah. The fundamental basis of this, everything is La ilaha illallah, right? But you can make derivates. So in chemistry, you have this word. I'm not a chemic, but I know a little bit. <laughs> um, Derivate is like there's the essence and you can make a little bit this, a little bit that, yes. So the Quran has uh, itself many de de derivates, I hope I hope this is right, yeah. La ilaha illallah from La ilaha illallah for example. So one is Mashallah Quwata Dabilla or La Tahsan in Allah Ma'ana which are very very powerful. So if this is too crazy for you <laughs> with La Fata Ila Ali la this is totally great work with the la ilaha illallah and then we come back <laughs> we come wow we come back because the la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah sallam, is the dhulfiqar itself so for those who don't know the dhulfiqar was of imam ali and he had the dhulfiqar had two points yeah very no two tips points in the bottom the one is for physical attack and the other for metaphysical attacks to cut in the metaphysical world to jinns or monsters whatever yes these are the symbolism of the two swords I I shouldn't forget the other string I had la ilaha illallah yes because la ilaha illallah so our religion starts with la with no so saying to everything yes is also not right yes La. We first have to put away everything that is not light. Yes. And this is where the Dulfiqar ends. La is the Dulfiqar. Lam Elif, the letter La, do I have it somewhere? Is the Dulfiqar. Maybe I can write it. I don't have something. Yes. But it looks like this. Maybe it's in the somewhere in the photo. It's like two points up. Yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome. This is the La ilaha illallah, and the first letter is Lam Alif. Yes, and this Lam Alif is so great because actually it's composed of two letters, but there is the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that it's one letter. Yes, just for recitement. So this la, this is the Dulfiqar. And the la ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah is the Dulfiqar itself as well. Welcome. So you can use the la ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah and visualize the sword cutting through. Yes, you can 
use it as a, as a metaphysical tool. And then we also have got, of course, um, knives. <laughs> Let's start. Where you can write on them talismans. Yeah. So, for example, this is from the Cyril. It's just a totally normal knife. Yeah. Can you see this? No. I heard there are functions. This is too near. Maybe here a little bit you can see. Yes, but there is a square, square, engraved on it, and you can wear it everywhere where you go. And this is a square for Metin and in the Sera Jalil by Imam Shadili, for example. I talked about the square in a past video. I don't know if you are motivated to look for it, <laughs> but I have it. Media Metin. And if you have this, it's a certain protection against tyrants and jinns, yes. Of course, one has to do it very properly, then it's working even better, yeah. And even the iron is mentioned in the Quran, like, we have sent down iron on earth from, so all iron is from heavens. We have sent down iron from earth with great powers. Here's another talismanic, like, let's say, dagger. Maybe you see this more engraved. Yes, calligraphy engraved. So you can make from things with engraving. Yes, or, or if someone interested, I can make such a thing for them. So here's also La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. And I think Meditya Shah Mardan Ali. So, of course, you can also use this in a meditation. But don't hurt yourself. Yes. Then smudging. And smudging is a communication with the, the trees themselves. They communicate, right? This is just for the end of this topic. Because I think now we went very deep into the Dulfiqar. Ah, yes, the last thing I forgot. Because the Dulfiqar, and people, they know the Ankh of the Egyptians, yes? It's like a circle, and beneath it's like a cross, right? So the Ankh is... Um, is... Is actually the Dulfiqar also. Why? Because the Ankh is uh, something from the... Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> it's actually Atlantean. Yes, it's not Egyptian, but Atlantean. And in the Atlantean version, what the people say is it's the circle. Then there is this little thingy. And on down there are two, yes. So it's just on reversed. The lamb elif is on the head, yes. So, but this is the Zulfiqar, and it has a. It goes back to the. To Atlantis, yeah. You can say so. Yeah, of course we don't know and things like this, but <laughs> at least from the symbolism, there is the big similarity. So the Atlantean Ankh is actually the Dulfiqar, or vice versa, whatever you want. <laughs> yes, smudging is another topic. See you next time. All the best. Subscribe. As I say, if you want something, talisman or something, I make talismans also for people. Just contact me through Instagram and then we can talk. I hope to make a homepage soon. The lambs were the best.